Hey YouTube land, um, back at you. Gonna do a little clutch maintenance tonight. Uh, we've got some autocross coming up here this weekend, and uh, I figured I'd show you guys what uh, what you can do to keep your clutch from sticking. I used to have a pretty bad issue with it with mine. Ultimately, the solution is that with the tick uh, master cylinder and a uh, I did that. I did tick master cylinders, tick slave cylinder, and the remote bleeder. But before you go and spend fifteen hundred bucks, you can do this for almost free. Uh, cost you just some fluid, um, and then I'll show you what I did on the clutch pedal. It does cost a little money, but uh, it's pretty reasonable. So first things first, what are you going to need? Well, I use one of these, or you can use a turkey baster. Um, you can use a piece of hose with one of those suction balls, you know, like that you use to transfer water to fish tank, that kind of thing. Basically, what you got to do is you got to suck the old fluid out of here. Uh, you need somewhere to put the old fluid, in this case, an old Gatorade bottle. And you're going to need some Super Dot 4 brake fluid. Uh, I couldn't find this at Advanced, only at AutoZone. So, uh, this is what I use. It's worked really well for me. Uh, so, that's going to be for the fluid change. You're going to do this a couple of times, um, and then I'll show you what my ultimate solution was. So, Let's go, ahead, let's go ahead and do the fluid change first, and then I'll show you what I did to the clutch pedal. All right, fluid change is as easy as it sounds. I'll try to film this while doing it all one-handed. And let's take a look. This fluid has about a 1,000 miles on it. Oh, and you can get these syringes uh, at uh, your um, local pharmacy. They're behind the counter. They'll give them to you. All right. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's disgusting. Yeah, you can't even see through that. I'm trying to see if I can get it. Focus. You cannot see through that at all. So this was due. My clutch was not sticking yet. But clearly, it was pretty gnarly. So let's go ahead and change this out. And you're going to do this actually more than once. All right. And I'm going to show you what I do. You guys are just in for the ride for this because it only takes a couple minutes. Um, some people will wipe out this reservoir if there's residue in there. That's also not a bad idea. Um, in this case, I am just going to suck out what I can get. And we're going to go from there because it's going to be better than it is now. All right. All right, so that's pretty much empty. Take your dot four, you're gonna fill it back up. I fill it up three quarters because remember you have a uh, bladder that goes in there and uh, that takes up space too. So, uh, like there-ish. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna put your cap back on. But I didn't go too far, I don't think I did. Okay, put the cap on and then you're gonna come back to your, your car hop in all right let's get this light out of the way for a minute we don't need that quite yet and you're gonna pump the clutch and you're gonna do it I don't know some people say 50 or 60 times it's whatever you feel like doing I usually do it until my leg starts to get tired and um, some people go I do like different stages of it in and out just trying to get trying to basically just work that fluid out you know, so I'm doing like little half pumps, full pumps, pumps at the bottom of the stroke, pumps at the top of the stroke. Just trying to work that that fluid around as best I can. Isn't that nice and squeaky, huh? Soon, soon that'll all be gone. I love that monster in there. Okay, so do that. Come back around. Let's see how it looks now. Remember, I just put fresh fluid in there. So you would think it would look at least kind of clear, right? But this clutch fluid only has maybe a thousand miles on it. So let's see where we're at. Ooh. Yep, still black. So you're gonna do that until your fluid looks like the clean fluid that's in there see that color that's the color you want not the black so I'm gonna save you the over and over uh, 
of this video. You get the idea. When it finally comes out looking more like what this looks like, uh, you're done. So I did that. The reason I've been able to get away with not doing mine for so long, we need a light again, is, and this is just kind of a temp, like not temporary, but a not ideal solution, but it works. Uh, the Lingenfelder spring. That 100% has solved my issue uh, as far as uneven clutch feel. So before I put that in, uh, you would push clutch down and it would like half stick. It would like pop out sometimes. It wasn't smooth and consistent. That spring does make it heavier, but I've had no uneven clutch feel or sticking since I put that in. So I'm going to go ahead and bleed out this clutch. Or not bleed, but change this clutch. I believe they call this the Ranger Method. Um, I'm going to do this until I run out of this dot four and uh, that's pretty gnarly stuff right there so all right guys I hope this helps you out if you haven't done this on your vet and if you're having sticking uh, clutch problems first thing you got to do and then every I don't know two three times you drive it do it again um, until you start to get more and more consistent uh, clear fluid and that should that should help a ton so won't necessarily fix it but it will make it significantly better. All right, guys, have a good night.